Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're going to dig into the differences between two top performing coolers, the Scythe Fuma 3 versus the Noctua NHD15's traditional look. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. Both coolers feature a dual tower design with two fans and their own distinct look. The Scythe Fuma 3 has six heat pipes, polished top, and two 120mm fans. This cooler comes in a single distinct look with a more toned down plastic heatsink top. Next up is the NHD15, which features six heat pipes and has two color variations, black and beige. Relative to most other coolers, the NHD15 is a Goliath and may not fit for all setups. In regards to installation, both coolers are a breeze to install. However, given the size of the NHD15, it may prove to be challenging to fit into a case relative to the Fuma 3. But we know you're here to see how these two coolers differ, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers with the AMD 5800X CPU over idle, high, and overclocked temperatures, and have two such charts to show you. One that looks performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line, noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Fuma 3 in blue has similar performance to the NHD15 in red. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the NHD15 begins to materially outperform across the board. Additionally, both coolers have a similar noise profile. As we turn up the heat to 130 watts, we can see that the NHD15 extends its lead. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have timbers on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, the coolers continue to perform similarly. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the NHD15 begins to materially outperform for a given noise level. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues. And if you're curious on how the Fuma 3 stacks up against the Peerless Assassin 120SE, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.